Hello, this is Toshihiko Yamamoto from Yamamoto Property Advisory in Tokyo. Uh, this is a road uh, in Tokyo where you can find the road of this kind anywhere in Tokyo. As you can see, uh, the road is quite narrow compared with, say, American roads. Well, because uh, Tokyo is very populated and the Japanese uh, building uh, law uh, regulate the, uh, the property uh, which faces uh, the road. Legally speaking, uh, each property must face, directly face the road. And the road must be uh, four meters or wider. In fact, you can find uh, many roads all over Japan, uh, especially in big cities and old uh, uh, section of the old part of uh, of the city. Uh, you can find many roads which is narrower than four meters. And if you, uh, but uh, this uh, road regulation is a relatively new law. So uh, all the properties uh, which are which is not uh, meeting the requirement uh, can be still uh, standing there. But when they uh, rebuild the uh, the building after demolishing uh, the older properties. They have to. Um, they have to follow uh, the current laws, and the facing uh, connect uh, connection point, uh, the doorway must have two meters or wider. So, uh, if the property has only a connection point less than uh, two meters or doesn't have any facing any point facing the road uh, it's illegal property and uh, you cannot really uh, if the land doesn't have any uh, facing which connects to the road directly connects to the road it's a illegal land uh, in construction law and you are not allowed to build any property on the land so when you buy a property in japan uh, one of the uh, most important things you have to check is the facing road okay that's it for today see you